Uh, some Essex County students who were not alive when the 9-11 attacks happened are doing their part to never forget. For the fifth straight year, the school is organizing a moving tribute right on the school's lawn. CBS 2's Lisa Mateo has a story from Cedar Grove. With each flag, a moment to reflect about those who lost their lives on 9-11. Students are planting 2,977 flags on the front lawn of Cedar Grove High School in New Jersey, one for each person killed in the terrorist attacks. More than 90 countries lost citizens. Junior Brian Catanzarite doesn't remember that day. He wasn't alive 18 years ago, but this display helps convey the impact on so many lives. Not only is it like a person, it's like the whole family, so you just want to keep in mind why you're doing it and who you're doing it for. It hits close to home for senior Francesca Catrone. Her father has told her about working downtown on 9-11. He saw the buildings collapse, and to think that this could be happening right now, like in real life, and to put that into perspective, anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Now in its fifth year, Cedar Grove Waves is organized by resident and parent David Schoner. When you come here and you see the magnitude of every flag, it stays with you, and it causes a conversation. A new addition to the project last year, a four-foot piece of steel from the remnants of the World Trade Center. I can't recreate for you what most of us experience. The conversation continues inside, where students get involved in presentations for their classmates. Principal Richard Mangili says it's an important part of the school's 9-11 remembrance. We want to educate our students and never forget our victims. Cedar Grove students are learning where their responsibility begins. As we get older, it'll become our job to um, keep telling the story of what happened. And the flags honoring the victims will help them tell the story. Lisa Mateo, CBS News, Cedar Grove, New Jersey. The entire project takes eight to ten days to assemble. This tribute will remain on display for the next several weeks. It's good. It's good to see a part of the curriculum, really the learning moving. process. Absolutely. You lose sight of the fact of all these kids that were I born. Know. I mean, 18 years. I know it's hard for us to even put that into con the context that it's been so long. Uh, and it really feels like yesterday a lot. Yeah, it does. Yeah. For those of us who lived through it, yeah. for sure.